Welcome to A Cozy Day in My Life, Working From Home. Thank you Ergen Office for sponsoring this video and make sure you watch the full video to learn how to enter the Ergen Office giveaway. To kick off a cozy day working from home, I like to create a peaceful, calming environment for myself. Enjoying the sense of a beautiful and refreshing diffuser, tidying up my space and putting everything in its own home, and decorating my space with warm ambient lights. I feel ready to take on what's ahead of me and accomplish a lot in my day. Normally in the mornings, I go through all of my emails that I received overnight and plan my upcoming content and future collaborations accordingly. I like to keep good and friendly relationships with the people who I collaborate with, so attention to detail and prompt responses are important to me. I use Notion to organize all of my future projects, and I currently use Spark as my email app. I always make sure to enjoy a caffeinated beverage. Today's choice is a matcha latte. I go for matcha lattes on calming days and coffee on more intense and exciting days. Today is pretty chill because I have some design work to do and film this video. I enjoy taking care of my skin and doing my makeup at my desk because I get to watch some mindless YouTube videos in the background. Today, I'm watching a video someone made featuring a really pretty Animal Crossing island inspired by 70s New York City in the fall. I just started playing Animal Crossing again, so watching this was very necessary. Even though I work from home, I still put in the effort to dress well and do my skincare and makeup because it makes me feel good and makes me feel productive and ready for the rest of the day. For today's lunch, I made a simple pasta with homegrown basil from my indoor smart garden. Cooking is relaxing and it's an enjoyable time for me to wind down and focus on my health. Eating and enjoying home-cooked meals has been so rewarding and very healthy. It's important to still take care of your physical and mental health while you're working at home. After lunch, it's time to start designing. I like blue or purple LED lights behind my monitor during the day because it makes me feel energetic and motivated. I'm currently working on my next product for my shop, my 2022 digital journal. So many of you downloaded my 2021 Muji inspired digital journal, so of course I'm making one for the new year. I'm making sure I take in all of the feedback I received for the 2021 journals, so please let me know in the comments what you'd love to see in a digital journal so I make sure I include it in my design. I'll have a future YouTube video this month all about my 2022 digital journal and there will be a holiday sale so make sure you stay tuned. Currently, I'm listening to chill lo-fi beats which has been my go-to kind of music to enjoy while I'm working. The Google Home Mini under my desk shelf has been my speaker and the acoustics especially under the desk shelf have been very enjoyable to listen to. My setup has served me really well these past few months, and I've been really enjoying my Ergon Office standing desk and cable management solution for a clean, organized, and cozy workspace, which is why I'm so excited to announce that I'm hosting a giveaway for my Ergon Office desk and cable management solution. The cable management solution is the perfect solution to manage all of your cables, hence the name. To enter the giveaway, make sure you do the following. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell on my channel. Leave a comment below with hashtag ErgonOffice and share how you stay calm and productive in your workspace. And also, to further support my channel so that I can host more exciting giveaways in the future, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you have one. So I'm gonna take a break from work and answer some of my most commonly asked questions that I get on my YouTube videos, my TikToks, and my Instagram. 
So the first question is, how did I become a software engineer? I studied computer science in high school and I'm gonna be honest, when I first learned it, I really had no interest in it. I just thought it was really boring because my teachers were showing code on PowerPoint. It was just like staring at code versus like actually building something cool and seeing how it can help people in the real world. I think in college when I pursued a computer science degree, I really sat down and thought about what I wanted to do in the future. So on the side, I really picked up front-end development on my own and my passion for UI and UX and that's when I would just practice designing my own apps, building my own apps. So that leads to where I am now. I am a front-end engineer and UI UX designer. I love creating my own things and sharing it through my platforms as a content creator. So what has inspired you to create such a cozy environment? So my personal life has been kind of crazy and Sometimes in life, when everything is spinning out of control, you just are helpless. So that kind of happened to me, where my life kind of spun out of control and a lot of things were happening. And that's kind of why I created my YouTube channel, because I wanted a space where I could be free and I could be as creative as I wanted to be. So creating a cozy environment really reminds me to appreciate the little things in life and there are little changes that we can make for a brighter future. If you want to learn how I make my space cozy, the little things in my environment that really brighten my days, let me know in the comments below because I am planning a video on that very soon. So what's my best piece of advice for women who are thinking or hesitating to go into tech. So as a fellow woman in STEM, I can really relate to when women say it's very scary to go into this field because there's not many women. I've kind of faced this my entire career since I started learning computer science in high school. I was actually one out of two girls in an entire class learning computer science for four years, you know, I just felt like I didn't fit in. It kind of intimidated me to pursue computer science and to keep going at it. It's unfortunate because I even experienced this in the workforce and my best piece of advice for women who are hesitant to go into tech is don't let them scare you. Don't let them make you feel inferior because you're a woman. Because when you do speak up, you're letting them know to not mess with you. <laughs> and you're letting them know to treat you with equal respect. And the more women who do this, the better the environment will be for us women in tech. Even as a woman in YouTube who makes tech content, I get so many hate comments where people are like, oh, what does your husband do for a living? Assuming that I have a husband who pays for all of my things. I get comments that are like, oh, her parents must be so generous. You know, we always face these glass ceilings as women and it could feel so suffocating to the point where you just want to give up. But that's how you let those people win. and. You don't want to do that. Instead, you just want to stay strong and just know that you're better than those people who feel the need to put you down because you're a woman. And my best piece of advice is if you did nothing wrong, you don't have anything to be afraid about. So throughout my career, throughout school, throughout this YouTube content creation journey of mine, I always remember that, that if I didn't do anything wrong, I have nothing to worry about. The people who try to put you down are just projecting their insecurities onto you and it is not your job to justify yourself to them. It's not your job to prove yourself to them. You just gotta keep doing what you're doing and being happy. Okay, so that was all of the Q&A questions I'm gonna be answering for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed these non-scripted open chats. I really had fun doing this and I can't wait to see what you guys say in the comments. If you don't know, I respond to most comments once the video is uploaded, so be sure to engage. I love reading what you guys have to say. It really encourages me to keep pushing forward and make new YouTube videos. And don't forget to enter the Urban Office giveaway for the standing desk and the cable management solution. It's a really amazing opportunity and thank you so much again, Urban Office, for sponsoring this video and hosting this amazing giveaway for my audience. The day is ending and I finalized some design and coding work. I'm creating a lot of different design and code content on my YouTube channel and just released Design and Code Episode 3 with some sneak peeks into what I'm currently working on. I like to use orange LED lights during the night 
so that I can wind down and feel relaxed. I had a lot of fun creating this video and hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much Ergon Office for sponsoring today's video and hosting this amazing giveaway. Engage in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll see you in the next one.